It's closed. Nothing. Just Empty? Three bags and nothing like promising at all. Nope. These leaves are getting ridiculously high though. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Never ending. <laughs> to get some WD-40 for that gate. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Just a poster, but half of a poster? Oh, it was a, it was a printout. They printed it, but they didn't have the right size, I guess. They didn't print it. They didn't uh, make the picture the right resolution. Yeah. So it didn't print it right. But uh, nothing here. That guy left his shoes here. No, we'll leave that there because the back is dirty. But... Oh, poor dog. I like it though. <laughs> Gift card box. Be your bag, man. Where is that? Graphic tapes. There was a dog on it too. Oh, the flower. More on that shop. Joy and choose. You know what that means, right? <laughs> what does that mean? This is not a political channel, Michael. Stop. No. It means it was listening to us in the car. Ooh, what is that? DVD? Remember what we're, what we're talking about? What were we talking about? How about Joy? <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's all kinds of cards. It's just a. Uh... No, it's not, is it? Here, hold this. Let me pull this box. At this point, Mr. Hopper disconnected the microphones when he hopped in that dumpster. Ooh, what is this? 
Wow, a Bluetooth boombox speaker. Retail $25. Oof. I'll take things I'd rather find than the dumpster for zero dollars, please, Alex. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, how does Mr. Hopper know so many darn celebrities? I'll tell you what. I met Mr. Hopper in a dumpster of all places. Imagine that. There I was, sitting in the corner of a dumpster of a popular sandwich shop, eating a sandwich. Ha! Huh. Funny story. But that's a story for another time. Let's get back to this diet. This guy finds so many treasures when he and his wife go diving. It's insane. My son Charlie and I mostly find half-eaten pizzas and sandwiches, but they're still delicious. Ooh, what you tied in here? Looks like a grab bag if you ask me. Send that over to Mrs. Hopper. She'll figure out what that is. If you haven't noticed by now, Mr. Hopper is pretty genius with his sound effects. He wouldn't know that this wasn't recorded live. He's making up all these sounds as he goes along. He's a pretty clever guy. At this point of the program, I'd like to remind you, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And hit that bell icon. It'll let you know when the next video's arrived. Baby formula? Are you kidding me? There's DVD movies in here. Wow. He sure has to dig around a lot to find the good stuff. Whoa, are those Hallmark cards? Another box? My goodness, so wasteful. And more, and more, and more DVDs. My goodness, I hope none of my films are in there. Sheesh. I hear this is a bad neighborhood. I hope these hoppers get on out of there. I'm interested to see what their Hallmark bleeding cart collection looks like. <laughs> I better get myself a greeting card for Christmas from them. I know they can afford it.
Good job, dumpster hoppers. That's a pretty nice hole. It's all underneath there. Let's see. Ooh, there you are. Hiding from us, are you? Ooh, look at that. Jeez Louise. All right. Nice stuff, good stuff here. What is this? Mac flaming hot Cheetos mac and cheese? What? And it doesn't even rest with chocolate. Huh? Alrighty, so we are back after our very large haul from CVS. Oh, I apologize for the coffee cup in the sink. I thought I put all the dishes away. I guess I missed one. Um, all right, so starting over here, we have a lightning charger cable for an iPhone or iPad. Two boxes of Poise Ultra Thin Pads. Two boxes of Always Radiant Daily Liners, Panty Liners. A box of Christmas cards. A bottle of a Gold Imitation Vanilla Extract. A bottle of, looks like, uh, let's see here. Topic hair filler. I guess it's uh, the, that powder that binds to your hair to make it look thicker. A bottle of Centrum Digestive Support uh, Vitamins. Three bars of Cetaphil Deep Cleansing Soap. Cetaphil um, Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. CVS Health Dry Skin Therapy Lotion. CVS brand Ultra Sheer um, SPF 100 sunscreen, which is awesome because that's the one that I use and it's quite expensive, so that was a really good find. Two bottles of Banana Boat SPF 15 sunscreen and two boxes of Kula Organic SPF 30 sunscreen. For five bags of breakfast blend community coffee, four um, canisters of cashew, salted cashews, four boxes of Givalia, I guess is how you say that, um, K-cups, coffee K-cups, a big bag of pistachios, a bag of super fine almond flour, a bunch of these bags of Special K brown sugar cinnamon. I took them out of the boxes because the boxes were gross and I, I don't want to donate them like that because there's no reason you need the box and if it's gross, just throw it in the trash, take it out. Um, but there was one that was, the box was still fine. So that's what it is. And there's one, two, three, four, five of them. A bag of Raisin Bran I also took out of the box. Three containers of this uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mac and Cheese. Now, I've always seen people find this stuff, and I never have, but for some reason, like these past couple weeks, I've been finding it everywhere. So I hope there's not a recall on it or anything. I'll have to double check, but I'm sure it's just, um, it's probably just a little bit past date. Yeah, it looks like it, it expired last month, so that's probably why they threw it away. So it's probably fine. Uh, a box of club crackers and two boxes of this uh, Duncan Hines Epic Fruity Pebbles Cake Kit. So that's pretty fun. Coming over here, three boxes of macaroni and cheese, two Velveeta shells and cheese, and one macaroni and cheese by Kraft. Four of these large chocolate bars, three Ghirardelli Intense Dark, uh, intense dark Chocolate, and one bar of Lint 85% um, cocoa dark chocolate. A bunch of these bags of Indian um, different kinds of marsalas. There's one, two, three, four, five 
uh, one, two, three, four, there's eight of them all together. You just have to microwave them. I've never seen that before, but that's pretty neat. Those are pretty easy for people to heat up if they don't have access to a microwave. You just kind of got to heat some water and throw the bag in there. So definitely a good donation uh, for people to actually have some real food. Three of these packs of Solo cups, 50, cup, uh, 50 count cups. They were all open, so I probably will not drink out of them but they will be good for arts and crafts. Got a bunch of these Lint Classic Recipe chocolate bars. 17 of those. A couple of bags of regular M&Ms, two Butterfinger bars, three bags of the cookie flavored M&Ms. A bunch of these dark chocolate peanut butter Dove bars. Let's see, 13 of those. A uh, bunch of these Reese's Potato Chips Big Cups, 11 of those. A bottle of, let's see, strawberry flavored lemonade. Four bottles of Stoke cold brew coffee and two bottles of Dunkin' iced coffee. But these actually say on the bottle that they need to be refrigerated, but I did look it up and it says that you only really need to refrigerate them after opening. There was a few more bottles of this um, left in the dumpster. We did leave them there just because they do take up a lot of space in pantries. It's not really something you can donate to people without homes because they don't have access to refrigerators. And we don't drink that much of it, so I did leave a bunch of it there uh, for other people to get. And we went back the next day and they were all gone. So sometimes you don't have to take everything depending on um, what your, your need is or if you have anywhere to donate it. It's always okay to leave stuff there for somebody else. Three Kinder Joys. There was actually five of them. My daughter has already had two of them. She had one for dessert yesterday and one for, um, I guess, a mid-morning snack. So I'm probably going to have to hide those. <laughs> Money Buddies. Chex Mix. Three boxes of this Badalco wafer strawberry cookie things. Bag of Starburst jelly beans. Three bags of this Oreo Java chip flavor cream. And a box of Mega Stuff Oreos. Some Oreo Thins. This lone bag of chopped walnuts. So that is everything. Here's our greeting card collection. Got thanks, thank you, 11th birthday, got all different birthdays in here, got daughter-in-law cards, more thank yous, it's just, it just goes on and on, anniversaries, nice little haul. So we find a lot of electronics in uh, dumpsters. Too much for me to be testing them all by myself. So I enlisted the help of my son to test it out, see if they work. And then, um, you know, we know what we can sell. What are you testing right now? This keyboard. Keyboard, huh? How many of those keyboards have you tested? This is my first one. That's your first one? Yes. Okay. We get a lot of those keyboards and usually I test them and it's just way too much time for me to be testing them. But you test all the Bluetooth speakers. How many Bluetooth speakers have you tested? Uh, a bunch, huh? <laughs> There's these uh, wireless headphones we find all the time, all these cables. Uh, this big old speaker here we found at... Uh, Dollar General, another one here, and uh, he gets to keep which ones he wants, and I guess once we uh, figure out we're going to sell them, we can keep the money on the rest. This one, uh, oh. you have to have it like kind of out 
in order for it to RGB. Oh, maybe that one's loose a little bit. It's supposed to be loose, right? It's loose, and RGB turns on, but as soon as it's not loose, oh, okay, turns off. All right, um, maybe that USB cable's bad. All right, good job, sir. Just go ahead and write it down, and uh, we'll uh, do something with it. He's got all these cables here to test, and um, he's a really good help. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> what?